What's up, guys? What it do? Talk show Tuesday. Talk show Tuesday. What we gonna talk about? Uh, uh, everything. Uh, everything. E. Hey. What's up, everybody? Who all is checking in right now? Let's see. Whew. Let me see here. I got Khalees underscore nine times. Payment O double O three six for uh going so fast. Um all right. Selma I sound so out of breath, don't I? It's crazy being pregnant. You out of breath when you walk up a few uh set of stairs or a few stairs, steps. And I feel like I've like had a full workout. It does not take much to get tired as a pregnant woman. But I am so excited about today because today this is my first episode of Talk Show Tuesdays and I have been dying to do this. I have been wanting to do this for some time now, but my schedule has been like crazy. I feel like even though I'm at home, I have like double the work. It's weird. Um, Working from home, I think we were talking about that a little bit last week on Women's Wednesdays, which I'm going to keep doing. Um, But just saying like, what's your new norm? And my new norm now is working from home. And I, there's so much to do. Everything going on. Um, I also, my husband and I, Russell and I, we're really kind of also trying to find ways to focus on helping there. So there's a lot of um, things that are just constantly coming in. We're trying to figure out what we can do to help people. So there's that piece of it. And then there's also obviously running my own record label, um, Beauty Marks Entertainment and everything else that I had been planning to do, um, just like the rest of the world, a lot of it's been kind of halted or altered. The plans and schedules have been altered. So there's been a lot of focusing on like, you know, that stuff and making sure the world is still running properly to the best, uh, the best ability to the best ability. Um, so that's been quite, um, a journey. And I know it's a journey for all of you guys out there. I just want to encourage you guys to keep your faith strong. Um, you know, this is a tough time, um, but it's a time that I really feel like we will all overcome together. And I believe that, you know, when you have moments like this, um, there is, uh, you know, when you go through those tough times there, the breakthrough moment is due. So I do believe in our breakthrough moment and that we are going to get through this time together and we will come out of this time stronger than ever before. Um, so I'm going to believe in that, um, for all of us, we're all, I say this all the time. This is kind of like my true understanding. This is kind of like the great, um, great connector. Um, cause it is connecting us all. I also feel like it's the, it's an equalizer as well. Like it's, you know, it's also putting a lot of humility, humility into the world because it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from or what you have. We're all experiencing this together. Um, some of the most successful companies and entrepreneurs are being impacted in a great way. And then to, especially those that didn't have much before this have been impacted in such a great way um, that could, could seem irreversible. But again, I'm going to believe that um, all this will be um, reversible, that we will come through this um, and we're in this together. We will get through this time together. So I love all of you guys out there. Shout out to DeAndre or Dre, we call him, me and Russell's artist. I see you checking in, boo. Um, by the way, we're going to be doing some fun stuff with Dre soon, too. Um, plans that um, I have to go over with. We have to go over with him, but we got some fun stuff coming for you guys to keep you entertained. That's the whole point of Talk Show Tuesdays, Women's Wednesdays, and all the fun things that I'm putting together. It's ultimately to, um, again, to connect with you guys and to, I, I think we're all trying to find ways to keep ourselves entertained. That is like the ultimate goal um, during these times. So I these topics today. Talk Show Tuesday. What is happening in the world? Okay, so the idea of Talk Show Tuesday, what I plan to do is to talk about the current events that are happening in the world um, as so much is literally going on right now. And just kind of a way for us to all, again, stay connected, to also be aware. I do want to say I am not a, um, 
don't don't quote me like super hard now because I, I do want to make sure I'm coming with facts, but don't y'all be trying to slay nobody if you know my facts ain't they're not my facts ain't gonna be wrong, but I'm just saying, like I'm not the expert at a lot of this stuff. But I wanna give I do like it, I think it'd be fun to talk about like our opinions on things and like kind of how we see things. And again, the opportunity for us to just be aware. Um so there's some good stuff in here today. All right, so I got some topics here. First one, first one today. First one of the day is going to be, anybody watching Netflix out there, watching um, some shows on Netflix? I personally have been, me and Russ have been really into watching Ozark. We're like, that is our joint, that's our jam. Um, we've been having a lot of fun watching that show. We're kind of the people that when we watch the show, we like to, um, we don't like to jump around to other shows, but when he's in the mix of like training or just, you know, doing his stuff, I like to indulge in shows like Tiger King. Um, anybody else like Tiger King? I know that's kind of been a big conversation right now, but Tiger King is a really entertaining show. And I, I don't know if anybody knows about me, but I've always been a huge lover of cats in particular, and, and lions and tigers in particular. Um, super duper, um, I don't know, I just think they're amazing beings. They're they're like so ferocious, um, really cool looking. Really, I, I'm obsessed with the mane of the, the lion. Um, but um, I'm obsessed with cats, um, those kinds of cats. And I've had a cool opportunity to interact with lion cubs before, um, feeding a cheetah before. I don't think I'll ever do that again. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I, I have you guys, I don't know about you all, but I've kind of also been the person that's kind of curious about like getting in, um, like when you see people that have the cats where you can visit them, like actually going to, um, you know, interact with them. But I don't think, I, I just think you don't play with cats like that. So like I say, I'll never be, I'll never try to feed a cheetah again. Um, but those lion cubs were really sweet. And that was a special experience that I had in South Africa. But that, all that being said, Tiger King is like the new jam on netflix that everyone's talking about it says it's that the it's the most popular show in streaming right now tiger king on netflix full of um just everything so anybody know everybody knows the conversation has been about carol and i'm still i'm like in episode four i think it is right now so i don't know if you guys if anybody's watching how far along they've been um how far along they are in the pro in the process of watching the show but something is tricky about that carol um joey exotic is turned up. Um, I'm forgetting the other guy's name who has the other big cat. Uh, what's the other guy's name who has the other big cat uh, park? Somebody help me out here. There's Joey Exotica and there's Carol King. And then there is, hey, what's up, Normani? Normani's checking in. Love her. Um, I think she said she has to keep watching. Let me see. Can somebody help me remember the guy's name who. Um... So, anyways, so my whole thing, I've been obsessed with this show. Um, Doc. That's his name. Is it Doc? Doc is the other. <laughs> Doc is the other big cat owner. Oh, I thought Russ is coming in. Um, anyways, but Doc is the other big cat owner. And okay, I think my team is helping me out here. Doc Antle. That's who it is. So it's Joey Exotica. No, Joey Exotic, Carol King, and Doc Antle. I again, I'm only in episode three or four, but I'm just kind of like, this is crazy. Like Carol's coming after the guys. And Carol seems like she's like all about what they're doing too. But the biggest thing for me right now is I think Carol knows where her ex-husband went. Anybody else agree with me? Something about that is fishy. Like how, even when you look at some of the playback, you look at her reaction to stuff, like how when she was being interviewed, when everything was happening and they were talking about him missing, the way that she was responding just did not feel like someone that was responding, that, that was someone that was like, you know, worried about, losing their love um something is fishy about that right right let me see oh my taint tell her to change her id to put, okay cool oh because she's private um hi babe what's happening hey russ is in the just want to say what's up to y'all <laughs> love you babe love i'm you. having I'm, I'm talking about it's my talk show tuesday babe it's, it's we're just getting started yeah just getting started yeah okay wait wait let me see if i can ask anything before you go um, let me see here. But anyways, I was talking about Tiger King. I'm trying to convince Russ to watch Tiger King with me. He I will not. I'm watching Ozark. I know, but you know, 
I I was telling them how we don't switch our. I was trying to tell. I was telling people how we don't really switch our shows, like that. Like when we're watching a show, we stick to that one show. Like we were watching Billions for a long time, and we've pretty much completed it. Yeah, dude. Um, I feel like we're like two episodes. Out, but we we want to jump into Ozark because we couldn't wait for Ozark. Ozark's that thing, right? And so, yeah, it's amazing. It's that jam. So we've been on that, and I'm trying to convince Russ to watch Tiger King with me. I want to watch it. It's good. I hear it's amazing. It's crazy. It's 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 dramatic. Go in there and watch it with her. I know it's so good. I love you. I love you. Okay, love you, babe. All right, let me see here. Okay, I will. Technical difficulties. Ay, ay, ay. We can get this going. So we can keep Talk Show Tuesday going because I'm so ready to get into like my stuff that I have to talk about. What are we going to talk about? A lot happening in the world. Um, why restart? I don't want to restart, guys. Why do I have to restart? Oh, Lord. <sighs> Leave and come back and request. Oh, that's what she has to do. Okay, let's see. That's so weird. It's still saying it's unable to join. I'm so frustrated. Hey, guys. I'm trying this for the third time, and I hope this is going to work. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. This is my third attempt for my talk show Tuesday, and I was getting frustrated earlier, and you guys witnessed that, but I'm going to calm it down. Because ain't no need to get frustrated, okay? We gonna work this out. Okay, Raleigh, bye. Thank you, I'm gonna try this, okay? Perfect. Bye. All right, so I'm gonna try one more time. Maybe this is just meant to be. Maybe. Um, so far, I was able to click on the people, so that's a positive. So I'm gonna keep my Talk Show Tuesday going. So I was talking earlier. I, talked, I had already started off by talking about Tiger King um, on Netflix is saying that it's the most popular show in streaming right now. Um, I have been one of those people that have made it popular because I am one of the viewers, just like everybody else out there that is making it uh, popular. But as I was saying earlier, there's something fishy going on um, between, I think Carol King, she's just a whole bag of like, hmm, I don't know, something. Carol King, uh, not her not knowing where her ex-husband um not the way she was speaking about her ex-husband when he supposedly went missing uh in an interview she didn't really seem that sympathetic she just kind of felt like you know like i don't know just a little sketchy um doc and also um joey exotic joey exotic is like straight up entertainment so i haven't seen the big juice that's our, that everyone's been talking about over um regarding him so i'm gonna get to that so don't don't blow it don't give it away but i can't wait to get to that but in other news something really fun um is level up is the number one trending hashtag on tiktok or at least that was yesterday and it's where people can create obstacle courses for their pets which i've been posting some of those videos i think you guys have seen those um and then also yesterday i reposted the video from um uh the the nurses i think it's called tj pool hall um let me check here the name of the group the nurses the doctors and the nurses of and the, i want to get it correct because they have a unique system where they get it says the nurses of float and per diem it's for the nurses and doctors at jefferson hospital and they basically if i'm not mistaken mistaken they get paid per diem for their compensation they kind of volunteer and they rotate um, in the program and that was pretty amazing seeing them all jam dance and jam out to level up and it was kind of inspiring and touching and um, just everything all at once just to see them out there knowing that they're sacrificing every day um, whether it's time with their family whether it's their own health um, putting them on their own selves at risk um, to go in there and take care of people during this tough time um, it's pretty amazing um, to see uh, people like that of our world, the, the, the nurses and the doctors of our world, you know, in work mode. And um, it's we're really grateful for each and every one of you. I know I posted that before and I've tweeted about it. But seriously, we couldn't do this without you. Um, you know, I, I think we all know what it's like when we have a simple symptom of anything and we're sick and to know we have the, doc the doctors and nurses of our world to be a safe place 
um, it is the most comforting thing. And so this time they're overwhelmed. Um, uh, many of them are overwhelmed. Many of them are probably also a little scared when they're going to work. Um, so, but, so it brought me so much joy when I saw um, the doctors and nurses dancing to level up and um, finding a moment to like take a, have a breath of fresh air and, and still be able to smile through it all and still be able to dance through it all. And I think that's the one thing that I've kind of learned about, you know, with what I do is the power of dance. It's one of the most common universal languages that connect us all. And so um, it's very powerful um, to see that and to see that tick, that level up was the number one trending topic on TikTok um, or trending hashtag on TikTok was really cool. And the puppy and dog videos are really cute. Um, the puppy, the dogs, um, the cat videos, um, seeing all of the, the, everyone do the level up challenges with their pets is pretty cool. I'm gonna try one of those in my Great Danes and Tyson probably can only jump over like one level. So we're not gonna even like play with that because Tyson's now 14 years old. For those of you guys that know that I have my multi poo, um, he's 14 years old and um, he's been with me for all of his life. And he is, I don't think Tyson can hear anymore to tell you the truth. Um, when I call him, he's not seeming like he's responding to that. Um, he still can see, thank God, he's not running into stuff, but it's kind of like my baby, my pa my puppy's getting old. But anyways, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna possibly try um, the level up challenge with our Great Danes and we'll see how that goes. And I'll post that whenever we get to get that done. Um, but as I told you guys, it's Talk Show Tuesday. Um, so the first topic we talked about is Tiger King on Netflix, level up um, being one of the, um, being the number one trending hashtag on TikTok. Please keep it going. I look, look forward to seeing more videos and seeing everybody just jam out and um, find ways to stay joyful during this time. And again, what better platform than music, um, you know, or, or a platform with music and a, a music is kind of a safe place for us all. Um, then also it says here, okay, Famous artists, producers, songwriters have begun to host beat song battles on Instagram Live and take, and have taken their followers on a trip down memory lane. Um, obviously, I, to my understanding, Timberland and Swiss Beats kind of had the first start of it. Um, we've seen, um, what battles have we seen out there? I know T-Pain and Lil Jon went on the other night. Um, Jonte Austin and Neo um, went on as well. By the way, love Jonte. Jonte is like, uh, first of all, let me just go backwards. T Pain, I've had the, I've had the fortune, I've had a, the, a fortunate enough opportunity to work with artists like T Pain, um, and Lil John. Um, obviously, Lil John, I will forever be grateful for him because he produced my first number one song, Goodies, um, which was number one for like eight weeks long, I think it was, in the Billboard charts, and that was a pretty historic, historical moment for me, and how you guys met me. Um, so that was almost 16 years ago. And it's so cool to still hear how people love it and dance to it. And I see all the videos that people make to it. But all that being said, both of them are amazing. I think people really enjoyed that battle. Um, I did, I got to see a little bit of it. Uh, I didn't get to see Swiss Beats and Timberlands. Love them, they're phenomenal. Um, I don't know about anybody else who got to see it, but I, uh, I know it was pretty amazing. Um, who else is that? Let me see. Oh yeah, The Dream and Sean Garrett. Um, got to work with those guys as well. You guys know The Dream produced um, Ride and pretty much wrote you know, that record. I got to write a little bit with him, but very little on that one. And then on Goodies, I actually wrote a great bit of that record um, with Sean. Sean um, that was kind of like my, I was very vocal when I was um, at that age. I was like, this is what I want to say. My comparison for Goodies was kind of like the cookie jar. Um, you know, like who put their hands in the cookie jar, who me, yes, you couldn't be, then who, like, you know, my goodies, like, you know, that was my, my goodie jar basically. Um, and so I actually had a good time writing that song, start out with Sean in Miami. And then I kind of just rode in my car for a long time and like went line by line on that goodies record, especially the hook to like, make it, you know, every, make it be as perfect as it could, as it could be. Um, but anyways, uh, it's not really about me. This is really about all the battles. But the cool thing is I got to work with like pretty much all those guys. Only person I have I've never worked with was is Swiss Beats um, and Timberland. I'm, did I work with Timberland? I've never worked with Timberland and Swiss Beats and two producers I would love to work with one day. Um, but those battles have been have been amazing. I think the, it's good for the culture. We're all enjoying it. It's crazy, guys. There's so much happening right now. Um, all right. Despite many cancellations, NFL draft will go on as scheduled. So they're gonna be doing a virtual um, viewing for the NFL draft, I guess, or so they'll be selecting virtually. Um, um, very, very, very sad to hear. Um, 
you know, I think my biggest thing to any person experiencing anything like that, please, um, you know, dig, dig deep down within your, within yourself to find the courage in any way that you can to ask for help, you know, um, you know, I, I think that it's so crazy. It's just kind of like, sometimes we can't see the power that we really hold within ourselves. And it's just simply having the courage or, or, or knowing that the courage is within us. Cause sometimes I don't think we even have the courage or have the strength to, um, to speak up and to, you know, not be afraid to ask for help. And it's so sad because these are things that we don't think about in the midst of us all going through other things like this, you know, the domestic abuse piece of it all and things like that. I didn't even think, I never would have thought about that until I saw this article. So that this is still happening. Things like this are happening at a greater level is what I meant to say. Not that it's still happening, but that it's happening at a greater level um, at a time like this. And some people feel like they have nowhere to go. Um, so um, I want to encourage those, if you're watching, you know, don't be afraid to take that step. You know, I'm, I know there's someone out there that's going to help you. Um, and they have the hotlines to do that, um, which I actually, the next time we talk, I definitely want to make sure I get more information. Now that I know this, it makes me want to learn more about it. Um, but don't be afraid to speak out and reach out. You know, I, I think most of us in this world, you know, that uh, most of us in this world want to find a way to help people like that. So if you guys suspect anything is happening with your friends or, or your family members, anyone, like don't be afraid to reach out to them as well and um, give them a safe place to go to. Um, this has to stop. It's so sad that this is happening really sad um and then um and then so and then you know speaking of this on the other side it says that love <clears throat> hashtag love is the number one trending hashtag on ig how about that um i think right now love is truly the way right to the way that we can get through this tough time and um again i really believe we will get through this way but if we can leave with love um even when we're in the house with all of our loved ones it gets crazy not every moment is perfect um, I think sometimes we will all drive each other crazy in this moment um, because it's like walking in these four walls with the same people every day. I love them with all my heart, but this is like cyclical. I'm going to go crazy. Um, but if we can leave with love um, in this time, you know, I think that we will um, truly prevail. And I think we'll, we'll come out better on the other side of this. I think we'll learn a lot more about ourselves and um, you know, I think we really will come out stronger, but if we can lead with love, love is the way. Um, and I want to encourage everyone to do that. Okay, unfortunately, my time went kind of crazy today, so I'm so sorry for my janky uh, talk show Tuesdays. Um, to those of you guys that just tuned in, um, you know, again, talk show Tuesday is what I'm going to start doing, and I want to talk about all the current events in the world. And I promise you guys, next week will be a better week for my flow, but I think it's always fun to talk about current events and kind of see what's happening in the world and us all being able to be educated about things together, I think is really important. Um, and us all um, staying um, connected as best as we can during this time. So I love you guys. And I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Unfortunately, I have a conference call that I have to get on. Um, again, excuse me, I feel like I'm working more than, I don't know, it's just weird. It's like working from home, the new norm. Um, but I wanna encourage all you guys out there to stay home. Um, Staying home is really, really necessary. I know it's hard to, but the curve is flattening according to the reports. Another cool note for Talk Show Tuesday um, that us staying in is really actually making a difference. It's really happening. So I would encourage you guys to hang in there. Um, stay home. Encourage your friends to stay home. Um, and I love you guys. And I can't wait to see you again. And we'll have a better Talk Show Tuesday next week. Um, but CC loves you all. And thank you for whoever tuned in for this. Women's Wednesday tomorrow. Something really fun is happening on Women's Wednesday. Wednesdays tomorrow. It's going to be really cool um, conversations. Again, it's going to be a day geared towards us women. Fellas are welcome to talk um, as well. <clears throat> it's always cool to hear a man's perspective on things. Um, and I think vice versa. It's always good for a man to hear a woman's perspective on things. So love you guys. Have a good day. Stay safe. Stay home. See you all tomorrow. Talk show Tuesday. Peace.